6.30. Time to check in with meteorologist Dave Aguilera. I'm sure, Dave, after getting smacked around for a few days, everyone liked the sunshine. Oh, for sure. Mm -hmm. What a day. And temperatures uh, responded accordingly. They all warmed up uh, around the region. We made it to 45 in Boulder, 44 in Fort Collins, 46 in Greeley. How did DIA, we kind of lagged behind at 49, but look what the number made it to downtown. 47 degrees, and that's where we are right now. 14 and 20 were our morning lows. So a big stretch from the airport all the way uh, back to the city. City. And I think Denver has a good uh, chance of making it to 50 tomorrow, the way things look, at least downtown Denver. Uh, 47 uh, in the city now, 37 at the airport with the southeast wind at 15. And there is a little breeze blowing out there, but certainly nothing like the wind of the last couple of days, about 5 to 15 around the region. A little stronger up here in Berthoud Pass in Georgetown, where it's 25 and 26 respectively up there. So a little breeze blowing. And it has from time to time been blowing the flags around at mile high. At the moment, they're kind of just hanging there and nothing too crazy going on in downtown Denver. And look at that blue sky we still have out there. Sunset, it won't be until 7.05, so we still are dealing with some sunshine out there. Check this shot out from Susan Green, our U reporter. Uh, the back of her puppy's head, the puppy's name is called Thunder and Lightning. That's his name, and he's watching the visitors. The visitors she calls the neighborhood watch. Look at that little herd of deer hanging out uh, in the yard out there, making sure everybody's okay. Radar and satellite shows mostly clear skies across the state. Just a few clouds drifting into Telluride and Durango down there. Nothing really heavy duty. There's a big ridge of high pressure that's forming out over the west, and that's what's going to slide in and deliver some pretty nice days. Now, initially, it's going to be slow coming in here. The ridge is just going to kind of move into the, uh, the Great Basin here and move up into the Pacific Northwest. That'll keep our temperatures close to 50. And then by the time we get to Tuesday and Wednesday, boom, that ridge is really going to move on over us and warm us up. And by the time everything is said and done next week, we might wind up with a few 60 degree readings here in the Denver metro area. Future cast into tomorrow, mostly clear skies, it looks like. Might have a few clouds down south. Uh, the uh, computer models are showing both tomorrow and uh, Sunday a little bit of light snow here, but I think it's that's kind of a stretch. I just think they'll see some clouds down there, and that'll be it. Everybody else in the sunshine. So temperatures tonight, single digits uh, in many mountain locations will be in the teens and 20s here in the east and tomorrow 40s 50s to near 60 down in the southeast will be in the uh, 30s and 40s in the mountains and 50s out there on the western slope tomorrow so things are slowly but surely recovering mostly clear light breeze tonight will be in the 20s for the overnight low tomorrow 48 officially but i think downtown will touch 50 degrees in the city with sunshine and then for st patrick's day the leprechaun is jumping for joy about 50 degrees <laughs> for the high close to 50 on monday and then we for sure get into the 50s officially on Tuesday and Wednesday wow. with mostly sunny skies. There's just a little chance for a little mix on Monday night that mm -hmm. slides in here, but I don't think it'll be a big deal. Well, don't forget to wear the green this weekend. There you, you go. go. Or right. you get pinched, right? <laughs> 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 All righty, Dave. Thank mm -hmm. you. Romy is back. Nolan got paid, and he is ready to play. <laughs> I, I can't even describe this. You guys have to stick around and okay. see this. It's only spring training, but Nolan and I are 